Hi, I'm Eliana, and I'm going to be discussing the Karl Marx reading. Karl Marx digresses from the notions of capitalism in order to prove that capitalism has no means to an end, that in the highly idealized industry that the world was moving toward had no real substance. That, in fact, what a purely capitalist society does is take the humanity away from individuals and alienate them from others. The focus of the article is Marx's theory of alienation. He says, and I quote, that in modern industrial production, under capitalist conditions, workers will inevitably lose control of their lives by losing control of their work. Workers thus cease to be autonomous beings in any significant sense. Basically, when you put workers into a large, single industry, they no longer hold their born identity, but obtain the identity of a worker, and only a worker. They become tools in the factory, ones that are easily replaced if need be. According to Marx, human beings, and I quote, cannot be human under these conditions. Interestingly enough, he juxtaposes the way of an autocratic government to the capitalist industry, saying that in the same way an autocratic government controls you in terms of life, liberty, and property, the capitalist industry controls you the same because they only allow you and give you limited options to gain capital and to maintain that capital. If you do not like the system, you're pretty much screwed. Marx argues that in order for workers to maintain their identity, they have to own the means of their production and therefore the process of their work. They are, in that way, they are in control of their product from start to finish and they gain that responsibility. In addition to that, Marx also discusses the terms of poverty, meaning a lack of material objects according to him. He believes that that obtaining these is not a fulfilling life, that, the standard, that those kinds of standards of living are very low, and that we should strive for a life fulfilled with experience and knowledge. This I agree with 100%. He is correct because happiness comes from confidence and knowledge, which can only truly be awarded if they are willing to explore the world and take in every experience, good or bad. But we praise our capitalist society and fear any sort of socialist ideas. It is obvious that we are dependent on it and therefore we have no greater ideas of success. The argument the article makes is strong and I do agree with most of it. However, we do have to keep in mind that this was during the Industrial Revolution and now capitalism is not so industry based and there are many other ways people can make a living under their own circumstances.